Jade, I'm Lauren Fairweather and I'm here to show you a DIY project that you can use during your travels this summer. I always end up rummaging through a bag of important papers whenever I travel and I've been meaning to figure out a better way of organizing them for ages. Today I'll be showing you how to make this hand-stitched felt travel wallet with a citrus applique design. And by changing the color, you get to choose which citrus fruit. Yellow for lemon, green for lime, pink for grapefruit, and orange for, well, you know. I made this version with a lime earlier just to give you an idea of what you can do. But nothing reminds me of summer like a fresh glass of lemonade, so I'm going to do a lemon this time around. To make this project, you'll need two 9 by 12 inch pieces of citrus colored felt and one for the cover of your wallet, a small piece of white felt, a ruler, scissors, embroidery floss, an embroidery needle, and either a needle and thread or fabric glue for attaching the citrus design, and sewing pins. You'll need an iron and ironing board. You'll also need to draw and cut out three paper circle templates. The smallest is three and a quarter inches, the middle one is four and one eighth inches, and the largest is four and a half inches in diameter. Cut out the smallest and largest circles in your citrus colored felt and the medium circle in white felt. Pin the paper templates down to the felt to make this step a little easier. Place the white circle on top of the largest circle. To make the slices, cut the smallest circle down the center again and again like a pizza until you have eight identical triangles. Get rid of one of the slices, then round the corners of each piece with your scissors. Arrange them like this with an equal amount of white space around each piece and this is what your applique will end up looking like. Next, attach all of the slices to the white circle. You can either use fabric glue or pin and sew them down like I did. I used a whip stitch by hand, but you could also use a sewing machine if you have one. Once you've finished that step, it should look like this. Take the piece of felt you're using as the cover and fold it in half. Iron the fold on a low setting to give it a nice crease. Then open it and place it flat on your desk so the inside of the wallet is facing down. Then place the largest circle and the rest of the applique in the middle so the crease splits the design in half. If you're gluing, glue the white piece to the biggest circle, then glue the whole thing to the cover of your wallet. But if you're sewing, you can pin the whole stack to the cover and sew through all of the layers like I am, attaching them all in one step. Flip the cover over so you can see the inside and grab the piece of felt you'll be using for the pockets. Fold it in half the same way as the cover, measure an inch past the crease, and cut straight down along that one inch mark so you have two separate pieces. Place them on the back side of the cover with all of the outside edges lined up and a gap in the middle where your pockets will open. Then pin them down so you can sew those outside edges shut. Thread a needle with a long strand of embroidery floss and tie a knot at the end. Then start your needle on the inside of one of the top inner corners so the knot gets hidden inside your pocket. Sew around the outside edges of the first pocket, attaching the pocket to the cover. I'm using a simple running stitch, but feel free to use any stitch you'd like. You'll need to stop sewing once you reach this other inside corner so you can leave the pocket open for your travel documents to fit inside. When you get to that point, tie a knot to secure it and trim off the excess floss. Follow the same steps for the other pocket with a new piece of embroidery floss and your wallet is ready to go. This is what it looks like when you're all finished. There are also lots of ways to customize this wallet if you want to. You could embroider designs onto the pockets on the inside before you sew them to the cover, and you could even make the pockets smaller by separating them with another line of stitching like I did here. You're only limited by your imagination. When you're done, you can fill the pockets with travel documents, plane tickets, metro cards, whatever you need quick access to on your journey. I am super excited to use this wallet for my trips this summer. If you are too, be sure to post a picture of your finished project on social media using the hashtag HGTV Handmade. I'll be back for one more video tutorial later this week, so be sure to keep an eye out. And thanks so much for watching.